President Maduro last night went on the air and said that they had arrested multiple people who were allegedly behind a coup that was backed by the United States. What is your response? Uh, these latest accusations, like all previous ac such accusations, are ludicrous. As a matter of longstanding policy, the United States does not support political transitions by non-constitutional means. Political transitions must be democratic, constitutional, peaceful, and legal. We've seen many times that the Venezuelan government tries to distract from its own actions by blaming the United States or other members of the international community for events inside Venezuela. These efforts reflect a lack of seriousness on the part of the Venezuelan government to deal with the grave situation it faces. Uh, the U.S. has a whoa, whoa, whoa. The U.S. has a long-standing practice of not promoting. What did you say? How long-standing is that? I would. <laughs> In particular, in South and Latin America, that is not a longstanding practice. Well, my point here, Matt, without getting into not history, in is that we do not support, we have no involvement with, and these are ludicrous accusations. In this, in this specific Correct. case. Correct. But if you go back not that long ago, during your lifetime, even. This the is last not that 21 years? <laughs> well done. <laughs> Touche. But, I mean, look, I don't, I don't I, does longstanding mean 10 years in this case? I mean, what, what Matt, is, my intention was to speak to uh, the specific reports. But you said it's a longstanding U.S. practice, and I'm not so sure. How, it depends on what your definition of longstanding we will, is. Okay. Whatever we say about Ukraine, whatever, the change of government in the, in the beginning of last year uh, was unconstitutional. And you, you supported it. The, uh, the that Constitution is also was ludicrous. not constitutional.